With us now is Olympian Lenny Kraselberg. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. So excited to have you here. You have such an interesting journey because you grew up in Russia, um, but then somehow ended up here in the States. Can we talk a little bit about that transformation for you? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I grew up in Odessa, former Soviet Union, um, in the mid 80s. Uh, I grew up, was born in the mid 70s, but my youth was mid 80s. And uh, really, you know, I was, uh, it was a, a typical Soviet growing up. Like we only knew one way to, to grow up in Soviet Union on, under the communism system. And got into swimming when I was five years old and was really serious by the time I was about nine years old and uh, was selected in a special group uh, of kids that they saw potential to one day, you know, represent Soviet Union in the world arena. Um, but uh, when I was a teenager, and I'm Jewish, my family's Jewish, um, we faced a lot of anti-Semitism growing up. You know, and Jews have for for generations in, in in Russia and Soviet Union, and my parents decided that it would be better for us uh, to immigrate to the United States, and uh, made that decision and made that journey when I was 13 years old. Uh, we went uh, from Odessa to Los Angeles. Now, which came first? Did you um, swim for the Olympics? Um, for the United States, and then years later, get to go back and compete in the Jewish uh, championships, or which came first for that, Lenny? Yeah, I, I, I represented the uh, U.S. at the Olympics first in 2000. I, I that was those were my first Olympic Games in 2000, representing U.S. I became a U.S. citizen in '95, um, and then after I won my gold medal in Sydney in 2000, I decided that these be important for me to learn more about my heritage, my, my roots, and you know, go to Israel and uh, the world, Maccabiah, happens every four years as well. It's the year following the Olympics on the calendar. And in 2001, I went to Israel and also represented the United States as part of the U.S. delegation, um, but at the World um, Jewish Olympics. That meant a lot to you. To be yeah, able to, that, yeah. Was, that was incredibly, you know, very special for me. Obviously, again, when we grew up, growing up in Soviet Union, you really didn't speak about your Jewish uh, heritage, culture. Uh, you kind of kept it on a hush-hush. So when I got to the U.S., it was the first time we really felt free and proud uh, of our heritage and being able to talk about it. So... You know, when I had an opportunity to go to Israel and, and uh, learn more about it for, for myself and, 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 you know, have more pride uh, for, for, the, for our culture, our heritage. And it, it was real special. You know, it was obviously way beyond sport. It was on a human level. So wonderful. So when you were on that, you know, that, I guess, podium, if you will, what went through your mind in the moment? It must have been surreal for you. you so you, you swim a backstroke, right? That's your big stroke that you swim? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now I have to tell you, Lenny, I like to swim and, and I don't know, I can float on my back, but I don't think I can swim the backstroke. <laughs> well, you can always learn. It's never too late. <laughs> I could try. I could try. But what was that moment like for you? Could you just walk us through for the audience to, so that they could like vicariously live that moment through you? Yeah, the moment was uh, special. I mean, first of all, obviously everything was happening fast. I mean, you dream about the Olympic Games for so long and um, now you're, you're there and then you're able to achieve your dream. Uh, it, was, it was certainly a surreal moment. But standing on the metal pedestal and having the, the, the national anthem playing, uh, I really, you know, the length of it, how long ever it takes, just over a minute. But you, you, you look back uh, at this journey that uh, m my family went through, leaving Soviet Union in the late '80s, and now standing standing on the podium at the, at, at the highest level of sports, representing United States, 
and all of that happened in a period of 11 years. And it was just, it was, it was incredible. Obviously, a lot of gra- just grateful for, obviously, for the opportunity, grateful to my parents, for, first and foremost, because they took an incredible uh, gamble to be able to, to immigrate into unknown. Uh, this is this country is the best country in the world. It certainly offers the best opportunities in the world. But as an immigrant, there's there's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of challenges. There's never any guarantees. And certainly, my parents were in their mid 40s. They weren't young, so and they had to uh, uproot what they had and and move here for the better of their children. And I'm standing there in a metal pedestal with a gold medal and we and our national anthem playing. Uh, I mean, uh, obviously, you can imagine how my parents felt. Uh, and then for me, it was just, uh, it was this journey, continuing journey to, to opportunity and uh, being able to make the most out of it. Congratulations. And now you're helping others. Tell us about the club that you're working with now. That sounds exciting. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm a general manager of uh, Club LA Current. Uh, it's one of 10 professional clubs in, the, in a professional swim league. Um, this is the first ever professional swim league in the world, and I'm really excited to be part of it. Um, you know, obviously trying to help the next generation of our athletes to to, to build a bigger uh, notoriety, bigger name for, na- for them, for their exposure. You know, generally the sport of swimming comes around every four years right at the time of the Olympic Games and all the attention on, on the athletes, and it gets a lot of exposure for two weeks uh, during the, the Olympics and then maybe a few months afterwards for those that are successful. But the, the four years leading up to it is, is just a real grind, and there's not a lot of opportunities for our athletes to be true professionals. And this league has really provide a chance for that, a chance to be a professional year-round, to be able to make a living uh swimming, uh, training, competing, and for me, it's just um, I'm really fortunate to be in a position where I can uh, create, build the team, uh, create platforms for our athletes to succeed and also be able to make a living. So I'm just honored and humbled to be in this position. Well, I'm honored and humbled that you came on the show because I watched the Olympics and it's fun because I'm like thinking, I'm like, okay, the, the cap on the hair or the, the nose plugs or the, the moment and the splash and the excitement of everything. So congratulations from the bottom of my heart, me personally, uh, just Donna, not like from the Donna Drake show, way to go. It's so cool. Um, and I have one other question before we wrap. So your gold Olympic medals now, uh, where do they reside? Do you like sleep with them under your pillow or do you? <laughs> Do you and walk that, around the house with no, them sometimes? Uh, <laughs> you know, that's a question you get asked all the time. Right. So, uh, I, I have them at home in the safe. Okay. Um, they, you know, they mean so much to me. And uh, it, it's definitely cool. But, uh, you know, the, the journey is, is what really always stands out most. It's just those moments to remember. And even just the question you asked about the how does it feel to be on the pedestal? That's yeah. just it's going back and describing that and kind of reminiscing on it. That that that's what's so awesome and so unique. And uh, I'm, I appreciate you for giving me an opportunity to share my story. And uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Lenny. Um, and this year, you know, let's help the USA go for the gold again, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, we're we're excited about Tokyo. Me too. Okay, happy journeys to you. Thank Swim you very well. much. Thanks, Lenny. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye.